Coins and Fountains People have been throwing coins into fountains seemingly as long as there have been coins and fountains. The tradition all started with water. While many people in the developed world today have clean, drinkable water readily available from their kitchen taps, this was not always the case. Potable drinking holes in many regions weren't the easiest things to find. Thus, where clean water was available, many early European tribes believed that such areas were a gift from the gods. The idea that drinkable water was sent from the heavens remained even as wells and fountains were built. Often, a small statue of a god could be found next to early wells and fountains, turning them into a type of shrine. As you probably know, presenting gifts to God is an ancient practice that was usually meant to appease angry gods or to act as payment for a request or prayer. In the case of fountains and wells, people would toss in a coin while sending up a prayer, an early version of making a wish. One rather prolific well can be found in Northumberland, England, as it was used to pray to the Celtic goddess of wells and springs, Covertina. 16,000 coins from different eras of the Roman Empire were found there. Interestingly, most of the coins found in the Covertina fountain were low denominations, much like today, where people are usually more willing to part with a 5 or 10 cent coin rather than a full dollar, euro, or pound. Of course, it wasn't always coins. The well of Penrees in Oxford, England called for pieces of clothing to be tossed in. In this case, it was thought that the water had healing powers and that the clothing carried disease, so by tossing a button, pin, or piece of fabric into the well, you would be healed. The belief in healing powers of the well of Penrees remained popular well into the 18th century. These days, believing in gods watching over wells or the thought that water has healing powers has largely lost favor, but people still practice this ancient tradition in modern times, usually making a wish. Probably one of the most famous examples of a wishing fountain is the Trevi Fountain in Rome. The Trevi Fountain was built at the end of a 21-kilometer-long aqueduct called Virgo, named for the goddess who would guide soldiers to water when they were thirsty and tired. Originally, tossing a coin or taking a drink from the fountain was supposed to ensure good health. Eventually, the tradition evolved into what we know today. If you toss a coin over your shoulder into the fountain, you will one day return to Rome. The idea was popularized by the 1954 film Three Coins in the Fountain, which also suggested that if you throw two coins in, you'll fall in love with a Roman, and if you throw three coins in, you'll marry him or her. Since the movie, this practice has become so popular with tourists that it's estimated that around 3,000 euros in coins are thrown in the fountain every day. Obviously, all of those coins can't just sit in the fountain forever. The Trevi Fountain shuts down for one hour every day, and the coins are swept out by the Roman Catholic charity Caritas, which pays for food for the poor as well as AIDS shelters. The coins have to be cleaned, sorted into different denominations, and sent off to the bank. So I really hope you liked that video, and if you did like it, click like below and leave us a comment to let us know what you think. And also check out a couple of our other videos, which are linked to on the screen now, and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every day. Thanks for watching.